Stay one step ahead with Dubai Eye. So why would I go, uh, as, as me or as a, uh, any art buyer here in Dubai, to, to fortunefavorsart.com rather than one of any number of, as, as Brandy says, galleries here in Dubai or we have art fairs here in Dubai or buying online. I bought a signed print by Zaha Hadid, for example. And there weren't any number of, of global websites that are established. I bought it from Artnet, but there are others that are, that are well-established marketplaces uh, for these types of artists. And looking at who you've got listed on your website, you know, you've got big names like Andy Warhol up there as well, and Banksy's up there as well. Uh, Harland Miller, Brandy, who I know you like, is on there. Emerging artists like Lily Byrne and some Arabic artist. But there are already loads of websites selling these, as you well know, because you're in the industry. How on earth right. do you compete with them? Um, I think I think we're bringing a little bit of a different flavour to the UAE in the sense that our, our, our style and our approach is more about bridging the gap of cultures. So whereas if you buy off your average online site, that would generally be a European-based site, I'd imagine, with the artists that you're speaking about. Um, there's not so much of a concept of embracing Arabic artists, where over here what we're trying to do is really, really bridge the gap between the Arabic and the Western artists. And also, of course, a lot of websites that you'll look at don't have as much of a broader spectrum. I mean, I can honestly say through my contacts within people that I work with um, and our network of, of employees and staff, we can access the majority of artists that are out there. Whereas it looking well, when you say that, but a lot of artists, and I'm not having to care about your business. No, 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 no. I no, wish you the best of luck. But for example, someone like I know, Zainab Al Hashimi, who's mm. a Dubai-based designer and artist. A lot of designers they have exclusivity contracts with with galleries. They say yes, we, especially if you're up and coming and emerging. Mm. They say yes, we'll represent you, but we want exclusivity. That that's not un, uncommon. Mm -hmm. How do you counter? So, for that? example, with an artist, if you look at some of the bigger names on there, Banksy, Basquiat, Harlan Miller, you're going to struggle to get exclusivity, whoever you are. Um, with the emerging guys that we work with and that we build up and we aim to build their careers, we always push for exclusivity. So, for example, we're negotiating a contract with both Lily Burley and Scooney at the moment for not just exclusivity here in the UA, UAE, rather but also across the spectrum, across the world. So, so we will push for exclusivity as and where it can be pushed. But I mean, look, if you were to try and push for exclusivity on Banksy, it's not going to happen. <laughs> no, 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 not on him, no.